And let's do palms facing up on the thighs as you close your eyes. Palms up is a little more uplifting and inspiring and gathering the energy in your room and of the day versus palms down, which is more grounding and settling and good for midday and evening practice. Eyes closed, just take some normal breaths in and out of the nose, not yet manipulating it in any way, but just to drop into your body and let go of the day that you've been in so far this morning. And clench the jaw. Maybe even let your tongue rest behind your two front teeth and the lips slightly part. And then to bring a visual into it, imagine that every inhale rises up the front line of your body, growing you taller. And every exhale slides down the back of your head, down your spine, all the way to the floor. So the inhale up the front line lifts you and the exhale down the back grounds you. Inhaling like spring rising up the front. Exhaling fall autumn leaves down the back. And then in between that little pause before you exhale or before you take your next breath in are the other seasons. So if spring is rising up the front body, that moment where you're full of air, where you're full of your inhale, hold that space right above the crown of your head in that summer, it's like peak abundance, full breath holding summer above your head. And then the moment that you let it go, the moment you exhale down your back body, that's the autumn leaves falling, descending. And when you're empty of breath, after exhaling, before you take your next breath in, that's winter and you hold that below you in your base, storing and hibernating before you can take your next breath in. So that it becomes this cycle of the seasons in your own time with your own breath. Inhaling for spring, rising up the front body, growing holding full of breath for summer above you, peak ripening fruit, exhaling down the back, the colored leaves falling like nostalgia. And then winter, barren and dark and honing in below you. One more round on your own. Inhaling, holding full. Exhaling, holding it empty. And then blink the eyes 
open as you gaze down onto the floor out in front of you and come back into your room, your world, let the light back in. Take a big inhale and sweep your arms out and up and gaze up, really reach up through your ring fingers. And then exhale, drop your right hand to the floor and your left arm over your ear and just turn to look under your armpit. Yeah. And as you reach, try to root your left butt bone to the floor so that you find this stretch from your left hip all the way up to your left fingertips. One more breath in. Exhale, come all the way up, lift the arms up, lift up through your ring fingers, and then drop your left arm down and your right arm over your ear. Turn your chin to your right armpit, root your right butt bone into the floor. Turning your left shoulder head away from the ear as well. One more breath. And then come back up, both arms up and just look up and start like you're climbing rope. Just reach one arm higher than the other and shift side to side, kind of tick-tocking right and left to grow the side body a little bit more. Yeah, reach one arm higher than the other and just grab the air. Good. And then one last time, drop the arms down, take a big circle as you swim them back up. And then lean forward, move your block or blanket and make your way into your tabletop. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. And if you want to pad your mat with your blanket for your knees, you can do that. Yeah. Press the tops of your feet down so you can feel your toenails into the floor. Press down through your whole palm from both sides of your wrists to all five of the knuckles. And then inhale, tilt the pelvis, drop the belly. Belly lift the chest, arch up to look up, cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, press the floor away from you, chin to chest, cat. And then keep going like this slowly. Inhale, cow pose, arch up, look up. Exhale, cat, round the spine, dome the upper back. Continuing to arch and round. Notice what's going on in the rest of your body. If you've lost the plugging in of your feet, return the toenails to the floor. Check out what's going on in the spiraling of your arms. You want the soft part of your elbows to spin forward so that the biceps face the front and the triceps face the back. That helps set your shoulders. Take two more inhales and exhales. One more breath in and out. Come back to neutral and then I'll show you from the front, extend your right leg straight out to the right, just straight out from your hip to the side. And if you want to, you can put your hands up on something. It could even be books if you don't have blocks or, or just tented fingertips just to bring the floor a little bit higher to you. And then we're gonna circle around the hip. So bending the right knee, go right and back and left and forward, right, back left, forward, just to lubricate through your hip joint. And this can kind of be free movement so you can move your head and neck around with you. Just move like a creature, lubricating the joints in the body, getting this synovial fluid activated so that you can move fluidly. And then just keep going, but circle the other direction. So go counterclockwise if you were clockwise. So good, one more round. And then keep your right leg out to the side. You can keep your hands on blocks, Allie, if you had them there. We're gonna take, tuck your left toes and lift your hips up and back and just find this sort of asymmetrical hybrid of a down dog and what we were doing. So it's not a real yoga pose, it's just, you lifted your hips up and back, you've got your right leg out to the side and it feels just nice in the hamstring and then the outer hip. You can pulse your chest back towards your left thigh. And then keep your feet glued where they are.
but you can walk your arms anywhere you want. So maybe what does it feel like to walk your hands towards your right foot and turn to the right or maybe back behind you. So you're not quite in a straddle. You're not quite in a forward fold. You're not quite in a down dog, but you're in this asymmetric place where you can discover new parts of your legs just as we're warming up. Yeah. Take another three breaths to return your hands forward as if you were in a down dog. And then carefully re-bend your left knee down. Mm -hmm. Point the left toes and return your right knee to a tabletop. So now you're in all fours. Yeah. And then Ali, take the blocks out from under your hands for now, put them back on the floor and we're gonna flip the wrists. So turn your right hand, if you can, all the way to the right. So the fingertips point towards your knees and your left hand all the way to the left. So all 10 fingers point towards your knees. And if you can't go um, 180 degrees, just go 90, just go to the, what am I saying? 90 or 45, whatever. If you can't go all the way back, go right or left. And then with the wrists flipped, you can really feel that the soft part of your elbows are forward, your biceps are forward, your triceps are back. Keep a little bend to the elbows so you don't lock them. And then find your cat cows again, inhaling arch up to look up, exhaling, rounding the spine. And if you wanna play with creating a little bit of heat, you can go faster than you were before. And it doesn't have to be crazy. It could just be inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale arching and rounding so that it becomes like you're moving through a Kriya, just this repetitive movement of the body, repetitive breathing. Inhale, exhale, or maybe you go a little bit faster. In, out, in, out, arch, round, arch, round. I'm gonna go at this pace just because I need a little pep today. So you don't have to go as fast as I am going, but maybe move a little bit past your comfort zone and find some fire, like you've lit a match on your tailbone and it's in your boiler room and you're starting to warm up your house and it goes all the way up through the crown of your head. 10. Five, three, two, one, slow it down again, super slow. Carefully return your palms forward, plug them in, press down through your whole hand. Good. And then take the blocks again under your hands, Ali. Angelique, just tent up your fingertips and we're gonna extend the left leg out. Straight out from the hip, perpendicular to your mat. Yep. And then move on around the left hip. So bend the knee, go left, back, right, and forward or whichever way you're going at first. Make this slow and big. Get your head and your pelvis involved so that you move spherically through your whole body. Move through all of the joints that you possibly can. So nice. And then just go the other direction. Left if you were right, counter if you were clockwise. And then hold still. Tuck your right toes, keep your left leg straight out to the side. Tuck your right toes. Lift your hips up and back and find this hybrid asymmetrical down dog shape. Just pulsing your chest back at first, getting into maybe your left inner groin or left outer glute, wherever you feel this. And then keep your feet planted, but explore with your arms. So walk them left and right and forward and back, whichever ways you want, but keep your feet planted where they are. Maybe try something you didn't do on the other side. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And then in the next three breaths, return your arms forward as if they were in a dog. And carefully return your right knee down. Point the toes, bring your left knee and chin down and make your way back into your tabletop. For one last time, inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest, and then keep this uh, arch, keep this cow spine, tuck your toes and lift your pelvis up through a back bend to down dog. So tilting the hips way, way up in order to find your way into your first true down dog. And then walk it out. It might be a little short. You might need to test yourself by pulling forward to plank. Plank is the length and width of your dog. So your hands are under your shoulders, your feet are hips distance kicking back behind you. And from your plank, again, back bend into your down dog, tilting the pelvis up. So the butt bones lift up, sides of your waists get longer. Wrapping the outer arms in so that you're trying to achieve that spiral again. Soft part of the elbows forward, biceps forward, triceps back. And then your legs are what really supports you here. So with a little bend in the knees, stick your butt way up, but drop your heels down to the floor. So the inner heels wrap back, the inner knees wrap forward, your outer hips root down. Good. So nice. Looking forward, walk your feet forwards towards your hands and forward fold at the top of your mat. Once you're there, measure that your feet are hips distance by putting two fists in between the arches of your feet. And then as you hang, hold opposite elbows. Actually grab your elbows with the center of your palms and cup them, dragging them down to the floor as you again back bend to stick your butt up. So even though we're in a forward fold, there's this idea of a back bend as well. Keep the weight a little more forward into the balls of your feet. Switch your grip, other forearm on top, same hang, just different arms, grabbing the elbows so you can drag them down. Look at your legs, make sure they're parallel, make sure your inner knees point forward. So nice. One more breath in. Exhale, release the arms just like spaghetti on the floor, just dangling, keeping a soft bend in your knees, roll up to stand slowly, stacking your vertebra like coins all the way up. And then once you're up, shoulder rolls up, back and down so that you can land with the arms down by your sides and the palms facing forward and energy out of your fingertips radiating. Turn your thumbs a little back from the rest of your palms so that you can feel broad across your collarbones. Find the weight even through your four corners of both feet. So press the big toe mounds down away from your outer heels. Find that diagonal and then the pinky toe mounds down away from your inner heel so that you cross-reference an X shape in both feet that center you and ground you in. And from there, up the legs, inner heels back, inner knees forward, outer hips down so that your two legs are like solid trunks here. And then lift your pubic bone up to your navel. Lift your navel up to your sternum in the center of your chest. Lift your sternum up through the roof of the mouth, out the crown of your head so that you're just shining here. Energy radiating from the ether above you all the way down to the earth below. And from there, inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Lift up through the ring fingers, lift up through the rib cage. Exhale, open up the arms and dive down to a fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward, palms to shins. Exhale, hands down, lunge your right foot back. Then your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, pull forward to your plank pose. 
And on your exhale, lower your knees down, bend the elbows and dive your chest and chin to the floor. So we're like an inchworm. The butt is up, your chin is down, your chest is down, you're looking forward, hug the elbows in and then point the toes and slide yourself through to a baby cobra so that the hands are by your low ribs, you're only your head and chest and shoulders are up, your feet are down, you're looking out in front of you. Back of the neck is smooth. So notice if you need to drop the chin. One more breath in. Exhale, lower your head down, push back to a child pose. Feet together, bring your knees together as well in this child pose so that it's less for the hips and more for your low back. And then circle your arms back behind you so that your child's pose becomes this little seed here. Breathe into the back body, full breath in. Full exhale. We won't be here long. Roll to sit up on your shins and lift the arms up for an inhale. And then look forward and exhale, reach the arms forward and Come back the way we came in, dive your chest and chin down to your baby cobra, either baby cobra or full cobra. Find your back bend, elbows in, shoulders away from the ears. One more inhale. Exhale, down dog. Lift your hips up, tuck your toes and back bend into it. Piking your hips up, dropping your heels down. Looking forward, lunge your right foot to your right thumb and really get it to where you want it to be, so that your right knee is directly over your right ankle. Look forward out in front of you for a breath in. And then exhale, step your left foot to meet your right and fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, rise to stand, circle the arms out and up. Exhale, anchor your hands in a prayer at your chest, thumbs lifting your sternum up. Inhale, prayer hands high. Exhale, open the arms and fold. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, hands down, lunge your left foot back. Then your right foot back, down dog. Inhale, pull forward to a plank pose. Exhale, lower your knees, bend the elbows, dive your chest and chin down. Inhale, pull through to your back bend, full or baby cobra. Exhale, child's pose, push your hips back. Head down and circle your hands to your feet. We're gonna keep going with these moon salutations. So take an inhale in your child's pose. Exhale, roll up to sit on your heels. Just for a breath in, lift the arms up. Exhale, dive forward, bend the elbows and find your back bend, up dog now maybe, lifting your knees and shins or a full cobra. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Looking forward, lunge your left foot to your left thumb. Look out in front of you, reach your, lift your right hamstring up, breathing in. Breathing out, right foot meets left, fold. Inhale, rise, lift the arms. Exhale, hands into a prayer at your chest. Keeping on, but adding on, inhale, prayer high. Exhale, fold to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down, right foot back. Drop the knee, point your toes and reach your arms forward out and up. Press down to the pinky side edge of your right foot. Bring your pubic bone forward, your navel forward, your sternum forward, lift up and then arc back like you're back bending over a globe. One more breath. Exhale, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your right knee and step it back, down dog. Inhale, pull forward to a plank. Keep your toes tucked in your plank. Just lower your pelvis towards your wrists and lift your chest so you're in an up dog, but your toes are tucked. Lift up through the hamstrings, press the floor away from you. One more breath in. On the exhale, lower your knees down. Point your toes and hinge your hips back to your child's pose. Fold back in, hands by your heels. Inhale. Exhale, roll to sit up, just for a breath in, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive forward again. Keep your elbows a little bent as you look forward and go right back into that tuck-toed up dog. So tuck the toes, lift your knees and shins. Yep, one more breath in. 
Down dog on the breath out, lift your hips way up and back. Looking forward, inhale, lunge your right foot to your right thumb. Drop the left knee. Point your left toes and reach your arms forward out and up on Dhanayasana. Press down through all five of your left toenails. Hips forward, navel forward, sternum forward. Lift up and out of yourself. Go forward to lift up and back. One more breath in. Exhale, hands down. Tuck your toes, lift your knee, and we're going to step it forward. Feet together. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to a prayer. One last time. Inhale, prayer high. Exhale, fold to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot back. Bend the knee, point your toes, reach your arms forward, out and up. One inhale. Exhale, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your knees, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave it through to up dog, keep your toes tucked. Exhale, lower your knees, point your toes, hips to heels, child's pose. One breath in. Exhale, roll to sit up. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, dive forward, bend the elbows and snake through to your tuck-toed up dog, breathing in. Breathing out, downward facing dog. Inhale, lunge your left foot to your left thumb. Drop the knee, point your toes, arms forward out and up, one breath in. Exhale, hands down, tuck your toes, lift your knee and step your feet together at the top of your mat, full. Inhale, rise up. Oops, I lost my ear pod. Eyes to stand, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to a prayer, and then drop the arms down by your side. Easy breathing in and out of the nose. Thumbs back, pinkies forward, feeling the broadness across your chest. Relaxing the eyebrows, relaxing the jaw. Let your eyes be a little watery out in front of you. Inhale. Inhale, big sweep of the arms out and up. Exhale, hinge the arms as you fold. Palm to shins, half lift. On your exhale, plant your palms and then either step, step or hop your feet back through any type of a vinyasa you'd like. My favorite is to hop back to down dog, piking the hips way up and landing with my knees bent. And then waving through to up dog again for an inhale, skipping chaturanga completely and back to down dog on the exhale. That's my personal choice, but you can do plank chaturanga if you're craving it. Lift your right leg up, breathing in. Breathing out, bend the knee, open up the hip, and just move through it freely. Move through your hip, your knee, your ankle. Really lift your right knee and shin. Lift your left armpit. Re-extend the right leg long, straight up, breathe in. Exhale, knee to nose. Lunge your foot to your thumb and come up for warrior two. So ground your left heel, windmill the arms up, back and around. And I'm just gonna turn around so I can see you. Bend into your right knee, but then shift the weight back into your left heel. Relax through the shoulders. In fact, keep your arms reaching as they are, but flip the palms to face up so that you feel this across your chest wide and the shoulders dropping down the back. Good. Inhale, straighten both legs, lift the arms up, lift your gaze up. Exhale, re-bend the knee, warrior two. Two more, just sort of dancing through this. Inhale to lift. Exhale, re-bend. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. Good. Inhale, straighten your legs, lift the arms but then turn your right toes in so that all 10 toes are facing the same direction and turn your left toes out to the back of your mat. Find warrior two on your left so you're facing away from me. Yeah, bend into your left knee, but then bring the weight into your right heel so that you have weight even in your feet and the frame of your shoulders is over the frame of your hips. Keep the arms reaching, but flip the palms to face up, feeling this broad across your chest. One more breath in. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, straighten your legs, lift the arms up, lift the gaze up. Exhale, re-bend and descend into your warrior two. 
Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale into your warrior. One more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms and legs. Turn your left toes in. So again, all 10 toes are parallel. But now circle your hands into a fist at your low back. Punch your fists down, prop your chest up. Lean forward and fold forward. Yeah. And then make sure your toes are parallel. You can even pigeon toe them slightly so that the toes are a little in of your heels. Dropping your head down, shake it no, shake it yes. And then bring the weight more forward into the balls of your feet. See if you can close your wrists together rather than just leaving the arms a little bit dangly. Make it powerful and punchy. Weight is even through your two feet. Inner heels wrap back, inner knees wrap forward. It's the same dialogue. One more breath in. On the exhale, bend the elbows just to drop your loose fist now onto your low back and hands will come to the floor out in front of you. Tend to the fingertips, lift your chest halfway and then left hand to the floor underneath your face. Right hand to your low back, turn to your right. You can even put your hand on the block here for more height and twist. Then the right arm might come up. You might wanna keep it on your low back just to level out the pelvis. One more breath in. Exhale, switch right hand down to the floor under your face, left hand to your low back. Turn to your left, twist. Maybe peel your left arm up. Weight is still even in your two feet. One more breath. Exhale, both hands down. Half lift with your hands under your shoulders, look forward. And then reframe your right foot into a lunge at the top of your mat. Good. Step your right foot back to a plank pose. Drop your heels to the left. Peel your right arm up and find a side plank. I'm on the outer edge of my left foot and the inner arch of my right foot. Rather than stacking the feet, I have a little bit more ground for this first one. Pike your hips up, reach your right arm over your ear. One more breath in. Exhale, right hand down, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Like a wave, inhale through to up dog, keep your toes tucked, keep a little bend in the elbows. Exhale, hips back, downward facing dog. Left leg up on the breath in. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip and move through it. Your hip, your knee, your ankle. Lifting your left knee and shin, but lifting the right armpit as well. Re-extend the left leg, long dog split, breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, step your foot through to your thumb, come up to warrior two, ground the back heel, open up the arms and settle it. I'm just turning around for you. We've been to uh, warrior two on this side before, so Keeping your knee bent, flip just your left palm up, reverse your warrior on an inhale. Exhale, forearm to thigh, right arm up and over your ear. Supported, extended side angle. Use the forearm to graze the hip open. Dig down through the blade of your right foot, the pinky side edge, and reach sharply from that blade of your right foot to the blade of your right palm. Reach your chin up into your right armpit and rotate your left chest to the sky. One more breath in. Exhale, come up, cartwheel the arms up, straighten your left leg and lean back. So now you're reversing your triangle pose. Press down to the ball of your left foot, reach up through your, reach, your fingers. Keep reaching your left arm back. Turn your left toes in, so all 10 toes are parallel. And then take your left hand across to your right ankle. Right hand to your low back, turn to the right and twist. Keep holding on to your ankle, kind of like a suspension bridge. Maybe the right arm comes up or you can keep it on your low back. One more inhale. And exhale. Coming out of the twist, bring your hands forward underneath your shoulders, half lift. And then keep this half lift, bring your hands to your hips, press down through both feet and just hinge upright to stand. 
Yes, grow the arms straight up to the sky, inhale. Turn your right toes out, bend the right knee, find warrior two to the back of your mat. Yeah, keep your knee bent, flip your right palm up, back over your ear, reverse your warrior, keep your knee bent. Exhale, right forearm, right thigh, left arm over your ear. Find the supported extended side angle for the blade of your left foot to the blade of your left palm. So that's the pinky side edge all the way through. Turn your chin to kind of fit into your left arm. And wrap your right lung to the sky. One more breath in. Stay for the exhale. Inhale brings you up, straighten the right leg, reach back. So now you're reversing triangle on this side, lifting up and out of the waist. Keep reaching your right arm over your ear, turn your right toes in, all 10 toes parallel, and then cross your right arm down to your left ankle. Bring your left hand to your low back, twist to the left, holding your ankle, maybe the left arm comes up, weight is forward and even in both feet. One more breath. Exhale, left hand comes down, both hands to the floor underneath your shoulders, half lift, inhale. Exhale, reframe your left foot back to the top of your mat in your lunge. Step it back to a plank pose. Keep your feet hips distance. Just drop the heels to the right. So you're on the outer edge of the right foot, inner arch of your left foot. Peel your left arm up, pick your bottom hip up. Roll the right shoulder head out of the way and then take your left arm over your head. One more breath. Exhale, left hand down, hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave it through, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. So nice. Walk your hands and feet towards one another and just forward fold in the middle of your mat. Either take peace fingers around your big toes or slide your palms underneath your feet. So either Pada Hastasana or Pada Gustasana, hands to feet. If you have your palms under your feet, your toes are grazing your wrists, you get a nice little palm massage here. Squeeze your toes on your hands. If you have the peace fingers around your toes, you can lift up the toes, but the big toes would press down the other four, bending the elbows wide. Keep the weight forward. Letting go of some nice big exhales. <sighs> One more breath in. And out. Remove your hands from your feet. Half lift, breathing in. Fold on the breath out. Inhale, rise to stand, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to a prayer, arms down by your side. You guys stay standing where you are. I'm just turning to face you. We're going to find a figure four chair. So bend the knees, sit the butt low, reach the arms high. Find your chair with your feet hips distance. And then shift the weight into your right foot. Lift your left knee up and flex it over your right thigh. Yeah, palms coming into a prayer. Bend the right knee a lot and sit. And then either stay here or bring your left hand to your left knee, your right hand to your right, to your left heel. Or you can bring your hands down and fold over this shape, maybe two blocks. If you're folded, you might start to straighten the leg just a little bit. But wherever you are, lift your right butt up so that it's perky, just like your left. Make sure the weight is even in your feet, in your foot, your standing foot. That's it. One more breath in. And then on the exhale, since we all have our hands down, just look at your right foot and step your left foot over your right. So your legs are now crisscrossed here. Yeah. So your left foot is in front of your right. You're crossed at the upper thighs. 
your head is heavy and you're just in an IT band stretch from your right outer hip all the way down to your right outer foot. Bend the right knee a little bit behind the left knee. Good. Bring your hands to your crisp fashions, half lift. Exhale, let that go. Keep your legs crisscrossed, rise to stand, squeeze the legs together, it might be a little wobbly. And then bring your hands to a prayer at your chest. Step into your left foot, unhook the right leg up and towards your chest, and then take this into a tree pose. So bring your right foot to the inside of your left leg, above or below the knee, anywhere but on the kneecap. So just a little bit higher than the knee or a little bit lower. Hands coming into a prayer. Look out in front of you at something on your eye level or higher so that you can lift your gaze. It helps your balance and it helps your mood lifting your gaze. Easy breathing, relaxed face. And if you wanna grow your branches or do any arms you'd like here, go for it. One more breath in. Exhale, hands into a prayer. Guide your right knee forward. Kick your right foot forward. Lift your thigh parallel to the mat. And then set it down, hips distance from your left. Yeah, if you need to walk to be a little more center on your mat, you can. Arms down by your side. Chair pose. Inhale, bend the knees, sit the butt low. Touch the floor and then reach the arms up. Before we do the figure four chair on this side, we're gonna twist. So hands come into a prayer. Lean the chest forward, take your butt back, hook your elbow outside of your knee. Push your bottom palm into your top palm. So elbow outside of right knee. Reach your head forward and your butt back. And then even here, back bend to rotate. One more breath in. Exhale, back through a chair pose, sit the butt low, reach the arms high, breathe in. Breathe out, prayer hands, twist to the left. Hook the elbow outside of your left knee, stick your butt back, reach your head forward, press your right palm up into your left. One inhale. Exhale, back to center chair pose, breathe in. Breathing out, hands into a prayer, shift the weight into your left foot, lift your right knee and chin and flex it over your left thigh, figure four chair. Hips back, heart forward, hands can stay here, or since we all did it, maybe come down a level with your right hand to your knee, your left hand to the heel, and then bringing the hands down to something. Perk your right butt up, perk your left butt up. Move your right knee right, your left butt left. the heavy, heavy weight even in your left foot. One more breath in. And the breath out with the hands down carefully, slide your right foot in front of your left foot, crisscrossing into this IT band stretch. You're trying to target your left outer hip, outer leg, bending both knees a little bit so that you can fit the left one behind the right one. Bring your hands to your crisscross shins, half lift. Exhale, fold. Keep your legs crisscross, squeeze the inner thighs, rise to stand, arms up. And then hands to a prayer at the chest, step into your right foot, unhook your left knee up and find your tree, placing your left foot inside of your right leg above or below the knee, our last standing pose. Press the leg to the foot, the foot to the leg, thumbs lifting your sternum up, lifting your vision up, boosting your mood up. And then if you wanna grow your branches, go for it. One more breath in. Exhale, hands into a prayer. 
Guide your left knee forward, kick your left foot forward, lift the thigh, and then set it down. Arms by your side, last time standing at the top of your mat in Tadasana. Inhale, sweep them out and up. Exhale, fold it to the floor. Inhale, half lift. Last vinyasa, exhale, plant the palms, steps up or hop your feet back through any which way you want to get to down dog. Hiking the hips, lay up and back, landing and bend knees down dog. Wave it through to up dog on the breath in. Down dog, last time on the breath out. Little bend of the knees, little tilt of the pelvis. Lungs to thighs, thighs to the back. Lower your knees down. Come to sit and extend your legs out in front of you. So good. We're gonna do a forward fold. So I'll give you three options here. Either do feet together, knees wide in the Baddha Konasana, like a diamond shape, or Uttavishta with your legs straight out in a straddle, forward folding, or Paschimottanasana, just legs parallel and forward as you fold. And then you could build yourself anything you want to sit on or to put your head on, building up blocks or even going near your couch and reaching towards your couch, whatever feels good to you. Just finding a nice forward fold wherever you are. Yeah. So nice. Slowing down the breath, making the exhales a little bit longer than the inhale. Ten more breaths here. Last three. One more breath in. And out. Looking forward. Lift yourself to sit upright. If your legs are open, close them. Scoot your seat a little bit forward off of anything you might be sitting on and come to lie down on your back. Extend your left leg out in front of you and hug your right knee and shin in towards your chest. Compressing at the hip crease. You can take a little rock side to side to massage through the hip flexor, taking your knee around in circles. Flushing through the internal organs of the right side, your liver. And then drag your left heel over to the right. Shift your pelvis over to the right. And now cross your right knee over your body to the left. You can put it on something, a block is nice, or a pillow. We're gonna come into this twist. 
You can hold your right knee with your left hand. You can open your right arm out to the right. And you're either gazing over your right arm or just up to your ceiling. And the reason that we dragged the left foot to the right and your hips to the right is because now hopefully you can feel that your whole body is in a straight line from your left heel, up your leg, up your spine to your head, that you're twisting on an axis. Five breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, bring your gaze up to your ceiling. Take your knee back into your chest and then plant your left foot to the floor so you can shift your pelvis center. Then extend your right leg out and hug your left knee and shin into your chest. Give it a squeeze, compressing at the hip crease, nice massage for your left side. Rocking it side to side, maybe little circles. Good for your digestion as well. To squeeze here. You did the right first, ascending colon, and now the left, your descending colon. Drag your right heel over to the left. Shift your hips to the left and then cross your knee over your body to the right, maybe putting it up on the pillow or block. Hold your knee with your right hand, if that feels natural, and extend your left arm to the side, looking over it or looking up. Five breaths. One more inhale. exhale. Bring your gaze to your ceiling. Hug your left knee and chin back into your chest, lower on your back. Right foot to the floor so you can shift your hip center. And then bring both knees in. Give both knees a squeeze, rocking side to side. Take them in circles. And for our final pose, I'll invite you either to take Shavasana, just bursting open and extending your arms and legs on the floor. Or if plow pose is accessible and feels soothing to you, it's a really nice restful place to end as well. Just lifting your legs over your head and either holding your low back or putting a block there. 
it's another option if you would like it instead of Shavasana. I'm going to do that. I'm craving it this morning, but if you're ready for rest, complete rest, take your Shavasana. If you're in flow, make sure that you can breathe easy. So lift your chin away from your chest as best you can. Just breathing in, just breathing out. If you're in plow, slowly make your way down into a happy baby. If you're in Shavasana, start to deepen your breath. Wiggle fingers and toes, rock your head side to side. And then wherever you are, extend your legs forward, your arms back, point your toes and reach, stretching like you're just waking up for the day. Exhale, gather your knees into your chest, roll to your right side, fetal position, your sun side, waking back up. And use your left hand to push up to a comfortable seat. Sit cross-legged the weird way, the shin that you don't normally sit cross-legged, just for fun. Close the eyes, left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly, feeling this life force under you, the belly breath rising and falling, the heart beating electricity through the body. Open your mouth, let your next exhale fall out to empty. Seal your lips and inhale up the front line of the body, spring rising. Hold your breath above your head for summer, ripe fruit. 
Open your mouth and exhale, the autumn leaves falling down your back. Hold it empty, storing the winter below you. Take a normal inhale, normal exhale. Hands to prayer at your third eye center, bowing down as you're ready into your practice and into whatever it holds for you, gratitude, devotion, prayer. <laughs> 